into the room, you do have a big king size bed. Directly on your right, you have your telephone, as well as your remote control. You also have a little lamp, as well as some wall outlets. So I have some additional space down here. And there's another wall charger over there. Further on to the right, you do have your air conditioning unit. As you pan across the room, you do have a little writing desk with another lamp. You do have your ice bucket with some waters. You have a little coffee maker. You do have some coffees, as well as some sugar and some Earl Grey tea. You have your TV right next to it. You do also have some drawer space. Pretty decent sized drawer space. In the corner you do have a red chair. And over here on this side, you have the same exact setup. So you do have a little light stand. You have a little light. Some electrical sockets. Well, some shelf space. You do have a full size mirror right here. To the left is the bathroom, and directly behind that, in these red doors, is the closet. Right here behind the bathroom, you have your closet. It's so a pretty average closet. You have your iron, you have your luggage rack, you have your safe, and then you also have some hangers. And as you come back here, you have the bathroom. So over here on the left, you have your hair dryer, you have your shampoo, conditioner, and body lotion, as well as your cleansing bar and your makeup remover wipe. So I have some tissues over here. Underneath you have some additional towel space. You have your toilet. And you have your shower. You have your mat as well as another bar of soap. Now we're gonna get into the review portion of the room because this is one of the worst Wyndham rooms we have ever stayed at. And while we don't typically do reviews of the room, this had to be an exception. So one of the first things we noticed is that the bathroom was very rough. Our shower head was hanging out of the wall. If we pulled it out any more, the entire little pipe would have come out of the wall. The bathroom was just very beat up. It did need a major renovation, which is not typical for Wyndham properties. They're pretty good about upkeeping their rooms, but this room was an exception to that. Here you can see our mirror is broken and rusting and peeling at the top. What bothered me the most about the bathroom was how disgustingly filthy the vent was. You can see there's rust on the outside, but if you look on the inside, the, the duct just needs major, major cleaning. There's probably years worth of dust in here and who knows what else, but it was gross. A lot of the room did have a rusty buildup on a lot of the metal appliances and fixtures, but we can attribute that to how humid Florida is but also I feel like these just have not been replaced since they were put in. The dresser in the room appeared to have some water damage on the bottom, which we're not sure how that happened, but that probably should have been replaced a long time ago. So this room just needs some work to be done. The price for this room was pretty comparable to other hotel prices in the area, so I don't feel like it's worth the price. We picked this hotel because it was a Wyndham branded hotel and we felt like we could trust it, but I feel like we probably would have gotten a better room if we had stayed at another hotel chain that we didn't recognize. 
And for that reason, we will not be staying here again. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this kind of content or found it useful, please let us know and please consider liking and subscribing and we'll see you in the next one.